Hey guys, it's time for an updated cloth stash. First, I'm going to start with my Annie Bell's Essentials. This one is a 10 inch moderate cotton topped. And next to it in the center is an 8 inch moderate, also cotton topped. And on the right is a 10 inch moderate minky topped. All have Wind Pro as the backer. Annie Bell's is actually one of my absolute favorite shops. Love them. And then second up is Mother Moon Pads. This one in the center is a 12 inch heavy cotton topped. This one on the left is a 10 inch moderate cotton topped. And on the right is a 10 inch heavy cotton topped. All have anti-pill fleece as the backing material. And here is Novel Red. Um, these are both 11 inch pads, crushed velvet topper. This one is a curved style heavy. And this one is a straight style, moderate. Absolutely love crushed velvet. Novel Red's one of my favorites. This is hand sewn by me, a nine inch fleece backed, cotton topped, exposed core pattern. Beautiful pad. And then this one is by Cloth Dreams. It is a nine inch OBV topped, fleece backed, regular pad, really comfy. And then next up is Beach Bottom. This is actually one of the first shops that I ever tried. Um, this one here is a 13.5 inch heavy pad that I use as an overnight. Absolutely love the koi fish topper. And then this one over here is a nine inch moderate pad. And in the center, an eight inch moderate pad. Definitely am a huge fan of Beach Bottom. This one here is my Goldilocks pad, my absolute favorite. This one is a 9.5 inch Alice in Wonderland cotton topped pad by Modern Wednesday. Fleece is the backing material and just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Definitely my absolute favorite. Next up is Crafty Nook. Um, these are both 10 inch heavy pads, flannel superhero toppers and fleece as the backing material. These are, I believe three inches when snapped, very, very plush pads. This right now is my only yurt craft currently in my stash. It is a 10.5 inch flannel topped wind pro backed heavy pad. And then this one here is a 12 and a half inch moderate pad by Heidi Hart Handmaids. Um, this one is a crushed velvet topper, absolute favorite. Oh my gosh, so wonderful. And then here is a Party In My Pants Luxe Liner. It is nine inches long, nylon backing material, and it is a flannel coreless liner. This one here is, um, actually the pair of these are 13 inch overnight pads by Eco Alternatives. Both are flannel topped, wind pro backed. Um, these are super, super thin. I definitely recommend Eco Alternative overnights. And then this one is the only pad that I currently have by Eco Owl by Netta. This is actually the most recent purchase that I made. Um, this one is a fleece backed, cotton topped, heavy pad. And then moving on from that, I have Cuddle Blossom Cloth, one of my other favorite makers. This is a nine inch micro fleece backed cotton topped regular pad. And then the other two are 10.5 inch cotton topped anti pill fleece backed, also regular absorbency pads. Love these. And now the remaining pads are all ones that I've made myself. This is the first style that I ever sewed together. Um, I ended up moving on from this just because I realized I needed a front bleeder style. Um, these are mostly liners, but this guy in the center here is a heavy with hidden PUL. And um, this is a combination of cotton and flannel topped pads. All of them have anti-pill fleece as the backing material. And then this is the second style that um, I created. It's basically the same as the last one, just with tab wings instead of triangular wings. I started doing the patchwork style toppers with this style as well. Um, these are also, again, mostly liners, but this one here is a heavy with hidden PUL. Um, these are all cotton topped pads, and again, with the anti-pill fleece as the backing material. Um, definitely still, you'll like to wear these pads, but, I'm not really a huge fan of symmetrical. 
Um, and then before I started wearing a cup, I used these 12 inch pads quite frequently. These are all heavies with hidden PUL. Um, before learning how to make um, an asymmetrical pad, I needed longer pads um, because I am a front bleeder. So I ended up wearing these quite frequently during my cycle. These are all anti-pill fleece backed, cotton or flannel topped. And then we have my overnights. These are 14 inches long. These are actually the biggest pads that I have in my stash. Um, these are a combination of cotton or flannel toppers, all with anti-pill fleece backers. And they have hidden layers of PUL just for some added protection during um, overnights, just since I tend to need a lot of, a lot of coverage. Absolutely love these ones. Probably won't make any more. I don't need a whole lot of overnight pads. And then this is my current style. I have more of these than I have of any other style. Um, I use an asymmetrical pattern now with an extended front and then a shortened back. So the top part of these pads is about two and a half inches longer than the back portion of these pads. Um, I use tab wings. Um, definitely still stick with my um, all reliable backing material, anti-pill fleece. Um, I use a combination of cotton and flannel topped pads. These are mostly liners, um, but there are a few heavies hidden in there um, with some hidden PUL. And then these are my uh, cup accessories. I've got my two cup spots. I really only need these for when I'm at work. And then my actual cup itself is a Diva size two um, with the stem trimmed off. I actually love this cup. I know Diva gets a bad rap sometimes. Um, the completely unattractive Diva bag and then the bag that I made myself since I dislike the Diva bag so much. And my wet bags. Um, this one here is a dry wet bag and then this one here is a single pocket wet bag. This one came from a diaper bag actually. And then this one here I sewed myself. It has a PUL side for soiled pads. And then the other side is a pocket for clean pads. Uh, now I'm going to finish off my stash with just a shot of my pad wrappers. Um, nothing too special about these, lined with PUL. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got a good taste of what's in my stash. I actually have more on the way, but thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.